Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about how to find amazing music. Now, knowing myself, I am a big fan of music. I love listening to music, but there's always a problem. I can't find good new music. So I'm like, hmm, how do I find good new music? And my number one source for new music is YouTube. Yes, YouTube is one of my favorite places to find new music because one, it's really easily accessible to find new artists because in the recommended videos you get a lot of, you know, just good artists. But when I'm searching for music, a lot of the times I get stuck, you know? And I don't have this flowing rhythm of like finding new music because all the recommended videos are the same music that I've already watched because the way that YouTube works is that the more you watch something, the more likely it's gonna recommend it to you or a similar thing. <sighs> so that's annoying. Because if I want to listen to new music and discover new artists, then I'm going to need to figure out how to make my algorithm or the, you know, the display section on the side of the videos where I discover new music, um, how to make that better. So um, over the years, I've figured out that the best way to discover new music is to search for music and, you know, go through your iPod. Okay, you go through your iPod, find like an artist you like or a song you like. You type that into YouTube, click on the video, and then there's going to be a you know, whole bunch of videos on the side that you can choose from. So you, you, the best way to do this right now for me is to click on the watch later button on the side of the videos, and you just you go down the, the line and just add to watch later. So then you click on a new video that you think looks like the most promising to be a good music video. You click on that, and then it's going to show you a new song. If you like it, you know. Go buy it on iTunes. If you hate it, then pff, just move on. Okay, so then you're gonna look on the side bar again and see if you like see anything that looks interesting. Click watch later, watch later, watch later, and then you know you keep on repeating this process over and over, and you can go to your watch later's um, playlist and just watch them down, 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 and skip through them really quickly to see which songs you like, and then the songs that you do like. Once you're on that song, you look into the bottom section again, click the watch laters, and that's going to really improve your recommended videos because it's going to really um, incorporate more videos that you're actually watching onto your um, recommended videos brain thing. So you're going to have a lot more good videos in your recommended section instead of all these bullshit videos that you've already watched, which you can always run into if you don't end up watching enough videos. So the key to in increasing the quality of your recommended videos is to watch more videos that are, you know, of interest instead of just waiting on your homepage for a new video to appear, which it's not until you start searching for the right videos and then, you know, your recommended videos will improve. So that's a good way to find new songs and stuff. I also recommend making like maybe a Twitter or some type of social media account where you share your music because if you share the music, then you're going to be more likely to search for the music and share it on the Twitter account or whatever. And that's going to improve your recommended videos and also help you gain followers, which can you know, lead to a new type of uh, hobby for you or revenue source if you like to gain followers on Twitter and post advertisements or something like that. I don't know. Promote content. So um, that's a really good way to find music. And the second good way to find music is... Um, iTunes Radio. The problem with iTunes Radio, uh, this summer I found a ton of music through it. Um, not all of it was great, a lot of it was kind of stuff I've already heard or stuff that wasn't amazing. But the good thing about that, t that radio is that it has really nice recommended videos because a lot of the recommended videos that are given are songs that are actually have been bought by people who um, had bought one song and went to another song. So their taste in music has been um, formed into this, uh, into a good algorithm for them. Because, you know, if they buy it, it means that they like it. So, YouTube, iTunes, you, iTunes has a huge advantage to the, to the YouTube way of searching things. Because you know that the songs that on iTunes that are recommended to you are going to be better than the YouTube because people end up buying these songs and the songs people buy means the ones that they really like. The other problem with iTunes Radio right now is that it's you have to pay for it. Like it's like nine ninety nine a month or something, nine dollars ninety nine cents a month or something, which is a little bit like hard for the average person to kind of commit to. 
because like committing to something so expensive if you're not going to use it all the time is not a great purchasing decision, you know what I'm saying. Um, so that, that idea is a little bit down the drain, but if you want to purchase iTunes Radio, go for it because it's a good way to find new music. Um, and the third way to find new music is to, you know, honestly those two ideas were really the best things I had. I know I kind of like pull, pull these numbers out of my ass in the beginning. I actually meant just the two best ways to find music on YouTube. <sighs> two and a half. Because like, you know, YouTube recommendations and watch later and everything. Anyway, um, I thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, click the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what, how do you find music, you know? Maybe I can have a new way to find music. Because I don't know about you, I love music. And if you love music too, you're, that's probably why you're watching this video. And uh, anyway, um, I'm going to be posting a new video next week or something about me talking. I have a whole bunch of main videos that you can watch too. I'm going to be doing more of these talking videos. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Just, you know, subscribe, like my video, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.